Hello! This video is the second video of our walkthrough series on how to use my Dragon City Bot Python application. Before we proceed, it's important to note that the videos in this series are not in interconnected with one another. Therefore, it's not really going to matter if you will watch this walkthrough series in chronological order or not. Also, a discretion that this bot is not a cheating program or a hacking program because it does not alter the game variables directly. This bot only relies on computer vision to perform its program tasks, mimicking how a human would perform the same tasks over and over again, especially in this particular game. In other words, it's just an automation program, therefore it's within fair use. With that being said, we will now be taking a look on how to use the Watch Greenhouse Building Ads and how to use the League Auto Combat features of this bot. If you're new to this series and wondering how to install this bot into your own system, you can head over to my GitHub page. The link is in the description below. Be sure to follow the readme instructions on the step-by-step -step guide on installing this program into your own machine. And after a successful installation of this program, we can now run it. And in my case, it will just be in my Visual Studio code. Once running, a pop-up window will appear. It's going to display the instructions we need to follow in order for this bot to work as intended. So now, let's follow the instruction and open our Dragon City desktop application. After opening, we can now confirm it by pressing yes from the prompt and it's going to give us the list of the tasks that this bot was programmed to do from this drop-down list. Again, for this video, I'll just be showcasing the Watch Greenhouse ads and League Auto Combat features of this bot. So by the way, I've just closed everything first so we can proceed on showcasing our bot's feature as smoothly as possible. So uh, now, let's choose the Watch Greenhouse ads option and let's press OK. So uh, let's read the instruction together. So now it's saying open greenhouse building and make sure it's in maximized window mode. So uh, I think we got our, our greenhouse building here and let's open it. We're pressing the status. Okay, we got our greenhouse opened in full window mode now. Yeah, I think so. And you would be seeing on yourself that, wow, he got 40 days remaining or my greenhouse is currently operating a full production for 40 days. How did I manage to get that? Uh, did I just sit down for a couple of hours while waiting and watching for the ads until I get 40 days? Absolutely not. That's why I got our bot here. And obviously I didn't spend uh, $6 just for this video, <laughs> all right? So now you can see the power of automation here, the power of this bot here. So now let's proceed on the next instruction, which is to ensure it's a front test program currently running and not blocked by any other program. So um, this means that uh, it's the frontest program. I don't think it's blocked by anything except this prompt. So uh, this prompt is just an, ex an exclusion for most of the part. What this means is that um, you should avoid opening apps that will be blocking your, your Dragon City apps or while this is running, while the bot is running, like opening a Visual Studio in front of your Dragon City application. It's directly blocking it. So it's not the frontest program anymore. So you gotta minimize uh, anything, any window that's covering your screen or covering the game itself in order for this to work as intended. So I think we followed everything. So let's press yes. And it's going to go directly and go for its cycle. And by the way, um, I'll just be limiting the ads for this demonstration to two. So not to exhaust all of my available ads for the day. Because, you know, uh, Dragon City has this uh, limit when it comes to giving players ads, especially in desktop version. It's also something that I've discovered while using this bot. And I ran on it a couple of times while using this bot because this bot, when just left or when you AFK while this bot is running, it's just going to exhaust uh, all the ads of your, of your account. Especially in this case, in this uh, greenhouse feature of this bot. So that's that. 
Now I think we're way we're right past the second advertisement. By the way, this bot is going to cycle indefinitely until you run out of ads. So let's just halt the bot execution from here. So in order to do that, let's open our Visual Studio. We can choose to click here, stop, or press Shift plus F5 to stop the program execution. Or we can click on the terminal and press Control C to, to trigger an interrupt. So uh, now you can see keyboard interrupt received, stopping the loop. So let's press OK. And now we're back to the main prompt where we got the list of all the tasks that the bot can perform. So now uh, let's close everything first. Close, close our greenhouse building. Moving on to the next one, we will be choosing the League Auto Combat option. And let's read the instructions together again. So now it says, open the league battle and make sure it's in maximize window mode so the same with greenhouse building uh for for league we'll just go and open the league just like that and i think our combat is ready so let's proceed to the next instruction which is to ensure that it is the frontest program currently running and not blocked by any program so the same as before so uh i think we follow everything but it also, a caution before we proceed, we need to make sure that our team here, our dragons, is the best that we got. So as you can see here, it's not the best that I've got. So it's gonna, gonna lose, I think, more likely to lose because it's not the best. Um, the bot is just going to rely on the play button or the auto combat button. So um, I'm gonna replace my, my last dragon here with a stronger one, which is this, my Meet Marvelous Dragon. So I think I've, I've got the best dragons right now, all level 50 against level 40. Hopefully everyone will win and I'm gonna press OK. And let's press yes. I think it will follow everything. So let's press yes. And also it's going to ask us, uh, do you want to watch ads every after a victory? So uh, if you're combating with leagues frequently, you may notice that after a victory, uh, you can choose to multiply your food that will be given by 10 by watching an ad or you can also choose to leave it the same in my case 2500 so if i'm gonna click no uh 2500 will all the food that i'm going to receive for every victory however if i'm gonna press yes uh, it's gonna be multiplied by 10 so that's 25,000. so i'm just gonna press yes and it's gonna directly it's gonna directly battle an enemy so let's see how this works so Okay, it directly click the play button and it's going to and it's going to go on full auto mode. Uh, so now I'll just be speeding the video up to give you guys the glimpse on how this bot should work. Okay, I think the bot is done for the League Auto Combat execution because it already has given me this notification. I think the bot was able to read or scan the text that was displayed here on the upper right that indicates that uh, you've already run out of combat. I think it will really take a while to refresh it, especially after clearing the League, the entire League. So. Uh, in this case, it's supposed to continue. It's supposed to claim the gem and continue to the next league. But yeah, I think it's something that I need to work on uh, improving in my algorithm for this particular feature of my bot. Nevertheless, if you wish to continue, you can just press OK and claim the gem. And there you have your next league and perform the league auto combat once again from here. But for this video, I think I'm going to wrap everything up, so uh, that will be all for this video. Note that there are still quite some bot tasks that will be tackled in the future video, as you can see here. And some of which are very interesting and personally I find very helpful. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Also, if you find this video in any way useful, 
leave a like and if you have some questions clarifications and suggestions for this project leave them down below and i'll be sure to check them out thank you very much